hello there welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and and all as always um thank you for all the support that um you guys are showing me i really do appreciate that um as i said before i'm going to return to this puppy love um kit the deluxe card kit that i got which is um you know part of the free members gift at hunky dory um and last time i did work with this kit something happened to the video um while i was making this card there were some fireworks george got scared um i had to turn the video off and then for some reason when i turned it back on it didn't record so um i did say that i would go through um, making this card again um, i am going to do it slightly differently it's going to be very similar i have to be honest with you um it's going to be a little bit smaller um, and there's a couple of other things that i'm going to do just to make that slightly different um obviously i haven't got that um that was the only large round topper um so i thought i would go in with this little cute i think it's a king charles spaniel uh, my friend uh, when i was growing up she used to have one called i think it was called ellie um so that's what we're going to be doing okay so um i've got a piece of white card here that was already pre-cut and it's five inches by seven and a half so i'm going to bring in my scoreboard and i'm going to go ahead and score that down the five inch mark and then if we give that a good burnish over that's going to make our flap on the second side um, and at this point here what I'm going to do is just bring in this little corner rounder from Hunky Dory and I'm just going to go around and around all of these corners come on there you go and we can pop that one away now I do have to bring in some dies for this next part and I'm going to be using the Carnation Craft um, circle dies that I have. These are just a plain circle. If you haven't got any circle dies, if you've got a circle cutter, then you just need to be using that or you can cut around um, a plate or, or something like that to get the size that you want. So I've got three sort of uh, for my three layers okay and then i've got a square of five by five and if i just bring in my tape i can just go ahead and have cut that quite close to the size that we need but that's fine i'm sure it will be okay put that on all of my pleats it through the Gemini. So my chair is super creaky today. Okay, so there's our first circle. And then the cute thing about doing this card at five inches, that's not going to be any good. So I'm able to use up lots of bits of off cuts so I'm just going to take the next size down on my die just cut that across there another bit of tape pop that one on just holding on to that edge oops let's have all of our layers I'm just going to go on there. Let's see if I can use this tape. And I'm going to keep that bit because if I square that off, I might be able to use that elsewhere. You know what I'm like absolutely awful for saving things um, and then I've got an off cut of this duck egg blue with the smallest of the dies that I've chosen just cut through oops that wasn't 
crooked. There we go, smooth that up a bit. Um, and obviously, you choose what sort of, um, how much of a, a layer you want. These are going to be quite close together. Um, but then I usually have quite a narrow border anyway, so that's kind of the way that I tend to work. And that will have to go in the bin because I've chopped into that. Right, so I'm just going to pop those over now, I'll pop those away in a second. So that's all the die cutting that you need to do, just the three circles. Okay, so next I'm going to bring in my cutter. And again with um, another off cut let me just see how wide that one is it's like five okay so I might be able to use that so if I go two notches below the five um, turn that around on my straight edge and two notches below the two and the half and that should fit nicely onto there and then I trim those rounded those edges and I'm also going to need um, a piece for the back so that's exactly five so I need to be two notches below the five so just take that little end off and two notches below the five and when that's all rounded up that will fit into there nicely and then bringing in, I'm going to use the insert on the inside this time. Um, so I've got this one with um, the hearts, um, the image, that uh, the page that I've got. Here it has all the hearts all over it. So um, I'm using that as my coordinating piece. And I just purely want the hearts. So I'm going to slide in around. So I'm going to go four notches under the five. And one, two, three, four notches under the five. Again, that will have to be rounded down. But that should fit nicely into there. So let's pop those over there and those over there. And then for this side panel, I want to use these um, foiled hearts. So I'm just going to take that four notches below the oh no, two and a half. So one, two, three and that's just going to take us to there so that's going to be quite nice and then we need to go to one two three four notches under the five and that should fit quite nicely into there let me just take a tie in there just to make that sit nice. That'll be fine. Okay. So, what I'm going to do before I do anything else is just bring in my corner rounder. Obviously, on this one, I only need to do it on the two outside corners because I want that to sit nice on the inside there. And then with the heart, just need to go on the two outside corners again. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Let me just check this. That's going that way, isn't it? No, I'm fine. That's fine. Okay, so that's fine. And then again on this piece we need to just go on the outside edges so snug into the corner and then again going this way or going that way let's see I think if we go into them so we'll go Obviously, if you've got a plain piece, it's not going to make a difference, but just had to think that through on which way I was going to be putting that, so that's fine. OK, 
okay let's just get rid of all of those bits and I need to bring in my school board again so with the large white circle that we've done I'm just going to pop that onto my mat and I'm going to score down the one inch mark and that's going to give us our hinge um, to glue onto our card um, these other pieces they will be trimmed off um, but I did that last time manually by hand so um, you know once we got to the decorating stage of things okay so first of all the first thing we need to do is to get this piece stuck on so I'm just going to grab myself some of this super sticky red tape off there, pop it on, and then a little bit of all purpose glue, just for a bit of extra stability, and I'm just going to turn that round and line up that. center and then there we've got our card link now on the sample that I did see on Pinterest so this is not my design um, it was that way around um, but I liked it that way so that's the way that I've done it okay so now we've got that on the inside oh and also on the one that I saw on Pinterest they had the hinge showing on the back um, I didn't like that so I prefer it this way where I can hide all the work in so um, it's up to you on how you decide to do that okay but you've got options there so I'm just going to go ahead with my all-purpose glue and then we can start popping these layers in just making sure to stay away from the crease on that side just so that it all fits in quite nicely okay so um, I'm going to come in next with my hearts, oh, I've done them upside down, I wonder if that's going to make a difference, Please. let me just recut that because that will bug me, um, so let me just bring that back in one, two, three, four notches under the five one, two, three, four notches under the five and the hearts the right way up and then just trim those two corners into the corner nicely And by putting the insert in here, it does mean that you can use it as a normal card, still write your message, and it would still all be hidden. Just means we just see the tips of it on those corners. And obviously it still stands up as a normal card. Okay, so let's decorate this side here. Again with our all-purpose glue. using the all-purpose but it just staying away from the edges just so it doesn't interfere with the gold mirror card so the alcohol um, glues will take the finish off anything pearly or mirror so just just be careful of that one okay and then um, next we've got our gold I'm going to turn this round just making sure Uh, 
there, just nice and even. And then I'm going to go again with this one. And you don't have to keep this plain. If you've got a nice embossing folder, you could always go in and just put that for a nice embossing folder. It's adorable, scorable, so it would take it really nicely. And then I'm just going to turn it over at the back. Just trim that down nicely. Obviously you could use a knife if you're not confident with your scissors. There we go. So there's the bare bones of our card. Okay. So I'm going to grab my, um, my topper sheet here. And we'll get our cute little spaniel. I think the sentiment we'll go with will be lots of love. There we go. So let's just pop all of these little layers out and we can work out how we want to pop them on. Now the nice thing about this is that most of this is going to be on the circle anyway so um, it's up to you whether you want to trim it off or not. I think with this little one um, I probably wouldn't do and just do just the tiny bit deeper envelope because it's only it's probably less than a centimetre there, maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch, something like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to start by bringing in some foam pads. Just because they're that a little bit deeper, it's quite nice to have that little bit of height on a smaller card. So I'm just checking they're well hidden than they are. I'm just going to go around, just taking care to put them in the middle of a scallop so that they're not showing. And I'll just put some on these other ones too. Oops. There we go, that's one. Okay. Oops. So I'm just peeling all of these backs off. Grab some um, tacky glue. Just pop some of that on. Just so that I've got a bit of Google time. And this is the Crafters Companion tacky glue. Okay. Just clean that end off. when it all glues together and doesn't open and the biggest problem I have with that little glue is just seeing <laughs> where the, the hole is to put the pin back in okay so I want to just try and make sure that a pad is not showing on that outside if I can and I'm going to go a little bit over so it's just a tiny bit off centre I'm happy with that on the back and then I'm going to come in with this uh, tacky glue again just going to put a little ring of uh, glue there which I'll leave that out because we're going to use that again in a second and I'm just going to put this one down flat inside so if you've watched any of my videos you'll see <coughs> sorry excuse me um, I do quite often do this where I've got one raised one lowered uh, one lower and then uh, one higher again. Okay, so next I'm just going to put some foam pads on this circle. So 
So just putting a couple round just to give us that elevation. This should be fine. And then again with these sticky packs that don't want to come off today. benefit of putting the glue on there if you're not quite happy with it. It's a bit easier to pop it up and just get it where you want it. Okay, so I'm just going to take the edges off there and then I've got to decide where I want that to go and I think I do want that hanging over so that I've got a bit hanging over here and then I've got a little bit hanging over here as well. So I think I'll go a little higher. Yeah, I think my hair will do. So again, just a bit of glue where I think it's going to be. I don't want to see the glue on the other side. And I'm going flat, although it's not going to look flat because we've got this elevation there. Okay, so last little bits is going to be finishing touches, so um, a couple of gems. So we can come in either with some blues or some browns. Um, let's see, I've got some blues there. I think I used blue on the other one. Or we could come in with some clear ones, which will pick up those browns. Hmm. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. Uh, well, we've got these ones. These are quite nice. What would they look like against the blue? Oops, the small one to the small one. No, I don't like those. I think we'll go with these glitter ones. Um, could go with the green because we've got the green here. Let's go with the green. Okay. So I'm going to pop three on this side, my little pokey tool. go with the small ones on here. So that's that one. And that's that one. Go back into there. Okay, um, so that's that card finished. Uh, let me just bring in that original one. Oops. And then you can see we've got the two together and, and just by bringing the rounded edges in just creates a different point of interest on it I think um, but yeah that's how you do that little card there I'm not sure what it's called um, but it's quite a nice little shape look a bit of a funky different shape okay so I'm just going to clear the decks down and get set up for the next demo okay so for this second card, um, I've got a card blank which has already been pre-scored at five, uh, five by five inches is the card size. So I'm just going to make a super quick easel card with it. So I'm going to score down the two and a half inch mark and then just fold that over to burnish that down. and then that's going to be the basis of our easel card now with an easel card you can cut another um, card blank 
or I could cut another card length five by five and put it on top and then I'd have the full size topper um, but that's not the type of easel card that I'm doing with this one today um, so there is where we are at the moment so I'm going to bring in yes another off cut of gold miri card that I've got and I'm going to cut for the base first of all two notches below five inch and two notches below five inch so that will fit onto there like so and then this piece so two and a half inches minus two notches and again two notches from the five and that will fit on this piece here for us okay so that's those and then um so for the topper that i'm going to be using um, i'm going with this little one with the heart so if i move that one at the second um, and then i've got this backing card Let me go in that way so i'm trying to get these paw prints in um, so I need to go four notches under the five. Sorry, sneezing fit. So um, four notches under the five. So it's about four and three quarters. And then again, on that side, just keeping those beautiful little paw prints in. And that should fit nicely onto there and then I have a piece of this paper left over from one of the other makes that I did so and this matches the top of it on the background in the puppy it's green with this sort of dotty design so I thought this brown would lighten it right up so I'm just going four notches under the no I'm not I've gone wrong there, so one, two, three, four notches under the two and a half, and one, two, three, four notches under the five. That should fit nicely onto there, and it does. Okay, so let's start assembling. We may need some other little bits cut in, um, but we'll see where we get to okay so if i come in again with my all-purpose this is the cloud all-purpose from crafters companion i do use it quite a bit i also like the hunky dory um sort of alcohol glue um but this comes in a slightly bigger bottle so that's why i've been favoring it lately and then again on the cardstock but just being careful not to go too near the edges because mirror card we don't want to affect that in any way and if you've put too much near the edges it can splurge out and then obviously when you try and wipe it away it's going to take that mirror coat in um, you know that's not what uh, we want so again with our maybe for this side so we can fold that down while we decorate it just put that on nice and even again with the paper and this glue um, takes it really this paper takes this glue really well I found so I've been more than happy with it okay so let's bring in our little puppy with his heart so we've got that one and I thought I would go with this one, which is um, Happy Anniversary, which is quite cute. And I was hoping that I can make that as my stopper uh, without interfering with those paw prints. So I think that will work. There's no other bits on there that I need. So for this one, I'm going to go a little bit... Um, raised so that it peep, he peeps over the edge so i need to put my foam pads because i am going to raise him um just making sure i don't get them on that upper quarter 
So I'm going to come in with the Crafters Companion again. Let me put my topper the right way up and then I won't put my foam pads in the wrong place. And um, what I don't want is when I put this on is for any foam pads to show on the other side. So that's why I'm just being a little bit careful. Okay, let's just see what that feels like. It feels secure. sticky on this sheet I think they've been out in the open a little bit too long sometimes uh, the more they're out in the open the glue seems to go a bit more tackier um, but these have been out for a good couple of months so that's probably why um, they're a little bit stickier than they were okay so I'm just going to come in and just pop her on or him on a little bit straight just checking so we've got no glue sh uh, no pads showing on the other side okay and then again with the tag just going to put quite a few on here because I want it to be really secure because this is going to hold our card up on the shelf and that's what's going to turn it into that mantelpiece pleaser that we all love to make so just that's quite secure as well so just whip the backs off there and then we'll decide where we're going to put that on the underside Probably I'm going to have to cover some of these little pools up. I think that's quite cute. I like that. Okay, so now I've got uh, quite a nice chunk of space here that I can decorate. Now earlier when I was playing with this kit before, cut out some of these um, paw prints using the crafters companion hold and release sheets and I think I might pop odd little paw on now one of the tricks I gathered or I, I sort of learned when I was doing this is use this as a template to put your paws down uh, if you know what I mean so I want quite a smaller one so which one is that so let's turn that around that way and it's this one here so if I put so we put it straight now I'm going to do it like so so if I put my glue in there like so and then I can come in with my use my pricking tools a bit easier to get the bits off with that so I'm just gently going to lift that up and then I can slot it in once you've got them up because these are quite big pieces oh what's that gone they're quite big pieces so quite easy to maneuver about And they should fit quite nicely back into their holes set on and then one in there and then if you just gently lift that up you've got them in the perfect place just pop that one back on there and then have I got well what I can use on here is these lovely little blue hearts just 
one, two, three, I think. Okay, so just put that out of the way. And these are quite cute, you could turn these into a flower by putting them, you know, opposite each other, but let's go that way, okay, and then lastly, just to finish, some nice green gems, I think, to bring that green back in, so I'm just going to put one, two, three, Nice green. Chip back in. Bring that green colour back through. And I'm just going to, because I've got the two little ones there, I'm going to bring those two small ones. okay so that's the card finish so i'm gonna leave it there just because uh time's getting on a little bit and i need to walk george before it gets um before the noise start again because he does suffer blessing with the fireworks so those are the um the two that we've created for today again with this kit um like i said before it's a super versatile kit um there's quite i mean there's still a huge amount that I haven't even touched yet so I possibly may come back again with it um, but I think the next time I did have a, an idea that I wanted to try out with um, a crafters companion Bethlehem kit so um, but it is going to involve me doing a little bit of inking and, and I have said before I'm not great at inking but we might see how it plays out and see see how it goes um, and then I might come back to this again, just um, try and use up all the kit because it, it's such a gorgeous kit. It, it's not one you want to leave on a shelf. You want to get those sort of made and, you know, worst comes to worst, you could always give them to a charity. Um, but I'll put pictures of these on Pinterest if you want to go and take a closer look. Um, and obviously if you need anything else or there's any questions, um, please do message me. I really do appreciate the time you guys have been taking to support me. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Bye for now. Bye.